now to the big issue. The big issue, which I think is one of the most underreported, underspoken about thing, not only in dance and the culture, but in music in general. And this is a big thing. Mm-hmm. It'd be really way up what's happening here. And something that has been happening from the turn of the year that we've been seeing reports of, but there's been a video going, going around that seemed like it really catch the people's attention. They say, hey, when you know that this been a good dance hall video producer video. is essentially claiming ownership of the entire reggaeton genre and suing hundreds of artists for copyright. This goes all the way back to 1989 with producers Steely and Clevy, who produced a beat mm-hmm. called Fish Market. The beat was then heavily sampled into the hit song Dembo by artist Shaba Ranks. The song was an explosive hit and went on to win him a Grammy and has since been called as the song that birthed reggaeton. His song has also been sampled hundreds of times. Steely passed away in 2009, but Clevy, along with a representative for Steely, are now suing almost the entire genre of reggaeton. Some of the genre's biggest artists were consolidated into a single action. Bad Bunny's lawyers argue that they are trying to monopolize practically the entire reggaeton musical genre for themselves by claiming ownership of musical compositions sampled by over a hundred artists and more than 1,600 songs. Bad Bunny himself in the lawsuit is accused of copyright for 77 songs. They also said that the rhythm is the building block of the entire genre and that copyrightable elements such as melody and lyrics are not included in the case. I'm gonna show you all the beats for the two songs let me know what you guys think in the comments. Them bow, them bow, them bow, them bow. On another table, me say that him bow. Y'all are playing right from me say that she bow. A Jamaican dance hall producer is essentially claiming. Oh my God! So I never know. No, no, no. Say, the entire genre of reggaeton was built. Off of an anti Boeing song. Yeah. <laughs> Perspective. Oh, God. Oh, why? What is it? Mm-hmm. Perspective. Perspective, yeah. Why? Just put it in that perspective. So, why? No, it's just a weird perspective. But that, it is factual. Yeah, but why is it perspective? All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out oh, like, why they're yeah. like, very much into Boeing. Oh, I well. Know. I don't know. Who is it these days? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> when they ask the say, oh, God. <laughs> when they say, when the girl they move about jump up, the girls aren't going to jump anymore. They're not going to be jumping. Say, Julian. Kind of jump up, jump. Is you stop. Hey, <laughs> 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 only people have been asking us this and they want to hear our thoughts on this. Because yeah. um, I really think it's something that it's a big thing within music. This yeah. class action lawsuit essentially where a whole genre is being sued. This is unprecedented. And so it never crossed my radar. I'm, I did not see this. Yeah, I'm just to see the article from January. Yeah, Apparently it was out. Like, I think we have brought it up before. I don't recall how, us talking exactly about it. Like yeah. yeah. But the thing is, I knew. I, I think I heard about a back and forth. But I want to be honest with you. This whole thing, I'm like really shocked by, but but I didn't even know. Like I thought there was like like a one and two song sample. I didn't know it was a whole it's class a action class um lawsuit because every reggaeton or you know the Latin the Latin market or mm-hmm. whatever has been growing musically like billions. Yeah, let them have them. There's like a whole fucking Latin Grammy. <laughs> and they came up in a regular yeah. regular Grammy. They got the Latin Grammys. So, you know, the, the, the genre is huge. Mm-hmm. And it caters to like a, like a large number of people, Lord. millions of people. But to be honest, I was so naive to think that the, whoever was supposed to get credit didn't get credit. What, what I'm learning is that they do credit them. So them give the acknowledgement that it it start from them bow. 
the the dembo song and the fish market rate it was started from that and then but they give the credit but they're and not by dance by extension and dance by extension but dance already they're not they're not they're yeah. not paid they're not paid oh. and that to me is a surprising thing because i'm like huh like there is it they, all that surprising though it you know we Yes, in my naivete, yes. I will I'm not even gonna <laughs> acknowledge your naivete. I'm not even gonna sit here and deny. Uh, like I legit it. thought that they must credit them. Yeah man, they must credit them. Yeah. No. 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 Cause Alwa go on this started from 2021 actually. Mm. They filed a lawsuit against <clears throat> Despacito, mm-hmm. which is one of the most viewed videos if not the most viewed music video on youtube yeah um let me just go through this i'm just i'll go through some key details of of this which some of which was said in the in the video that you heard previously um so this is the lawsuit filed in 2021 was filed in a california central district court the puerto rican whose given name is luis Alfonso, blah, 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 blah um allegedly recorded songs that contain original Elements from Steely and Cleavy's 1989 rhythm title Fish Market, also known as Paco Jam, Paco Man Jam, but known internationally as Dembo. All right. So the lawsuit is filed against Luis Fonzi, him saying Despacito, mm-hmm. and which went on to be a big fucking hit with Daddy Justin Yankee, Bieber Daddy and Justin Bieber remix. remix yeah. thing, right? Um. Now this one that they filed recently right they know that in 1990 subsequent to the release and success of shabba ranks them ball dennis halliburton aka dennis the menace had replayed them bow's instrumental to record a spanish language cover version of them bow entitled elos benin actually oh, right no, and no. they claim that another song pounder by the duo by the duo Patrick Bernard, a.k.a. Bobo General, and Wayne Archer, a.k.a. Sleepy Wonder, had a B-side which featured an instrumental, which featured an, inter- an instrumental mix of Halliburton's sound recording and that this instrumental has been sound, has been sampled, sorry, widely in reggaeton and is commonly known and referred to by the Pounder rhythm, which is substantially similar, if not virtu- virtually identical to Fish Market. Mm-hmm. So just a little more history on that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the godfathers of reggaeton who has lineage to Panama. Mm-hmm. En General. Yes, En General. If you hear that song there. To Pum Pum. Our song name, To Pum Pum. Essentially, that's what it was. That's what it was birthed as. This is him again. Lord of mercy. Blood clash at Jamaica. But he's Panamanian still. So yeah. And them have the flow and everything. Mm-hmm. So let's just do it in Spanish. Yet another genre. That's birth by dance slash reggae. There you go. Mm-hmm. And it seemed like Steely uh, uh, and Cleavy Productions are having I don't even remember the, the better name, but just call it say their Facebook moment. I hope for mm. every fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Oh, God. I don't want to go on. This is what I feel. They don't want a two million dollar. Mm-hmm. They, they want a full retirement. Yeah. They want to go for everything. everything. They want and I think that is was my naivete. Well. That was my naivete towards it because I just thought that. It, Eduardo Sovereign. Just random. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. My naivete thought that yeah, they must credit them because it's been. No- I was watching eight months ago. You know, I watch like Trevor Noah, and one of the correspondents have this thing called Dulce Sane, and they were talking about Hispanic Month, and they were talking about the reggaeton as a part of its culture, mm-hmm. and they had a whole what a version of what we call Quick Fix. What we did with mm-hmm. Quick Fix of the second 
edition of Quick Things. Yeah. Where they were teaching us, um, where she was showing us the history of reggaeton. That's literally what it is. And in her research, she acknowledges Shabarank, Shabarang, sorry, as the inspiration and credit <laughs> dancehall as the foundation for, for, for reggaeton. reggaeton. And so, this is not nothing that we didn't. And we didn't yeah. know. Like, I am so confused. No, you didn't know? I, no, I said no, that I that's said not... we didn't know. Oh, I'm saying that's not nothing we didn't know. No, no, me I said we didn't know. Like, it's not, not something that, yeah. No, okay. but... We knew. We <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> I meant we knew. We're not confused. Me. Right, yeah. no. I meant we knew. Like, we should have known. Like, mm. and it's been word I'm out saying that we yeah reggaeton it's in the name reggaeton mm-hmm. it's inspired by us so I'm just so really and truly confused how them man did not get them credit like or not even at them credit their their money them sample the entire and them, thing I guess them basically watch what happened over there is like oh him do it same, and him get away with it alright let's just say it's from them, but not really paid. So them. probably them even them probably even give the money to the pounder, the person who create the pounder. That's so? <clears> all. <throat> the next really may say, we did I say in your history? Essential because that seems to be the point of contention. Yeah, so the pound right already me create from, but the pound already didn't get it from us. Yeah. Well, not from us, but from the <laughs> stealing and glevy. So I am like. I am just so confused. And then I can understand why part of me feel like maybe they don't want to because as Nara said, he's coming for every fucking mm, thing. Mm-hmm. And they would have to pay them a shit ton of money. Yeah. Because uh, some big song too, you know, Dama to Cosita. Ah, ah, that's one of them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Javi, the thing is that, and this is at the crux of dancers' gripe. And you could say mentality when we feel like we aren't compensated Mm -hmm. and properly credited. Mm -hmm. I think that's the the, the phrase to use because I think that we are credited in that we are acknowledged in even birth in hip hop and Mm -hmm. even birth reggaeton. But are we properly credited? Right. Mm -hmm. Financially compensated. In in certain ways, like Mm -hmm. the the, the people that really put the groundwork. Mm -hmm. And from the base in which these titans mm-hmm. stand on. Because if you don't know no people, reggaeton is a multi-million dollar, if not Excuse a me? billion oh. dollar industry. <laughs> Excuse me? An industry. <laughs> hip-hop, I don't have a tell you about that. They have several billion years in hip-hop right now. Mm-hmm. But you know them. And I think this is part of the reason why we're so protective of dancehall as well. And Arwagwan, it's something that really need to learn from. Mm. They took something that was inspired from us, took something or inspired by. No. And they were took. able to, they were able to. Well, the courts will ultimately decide this, right? because we're going to go into some things where if it's that, they even mm-hmm. have a chance to win this. Mm-hmm. Because as I said, this is unprecedented. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have taken something and they were able to turn it into a billion dollar industry. Is it that Latin America bigger than Jamaica? Why haven't we been able yeah. to turn dance all into an industry? And I, Why is it that people can stand yeah. on the shoulder yeah. of dance all mm-hmm. two genres that we can identify that are billion dollar industries <laughs> giants and thrive? Damn it, as you as you 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 bring up them have a a, a, a bomba Latin Grammy Me. right now. Mm-hmm. So even when the Grammys not treat them, we have one thing. Yeah. Even there was a period where reggaeton wasn't really popping in, in the US like that. Mm-mm. I just what there when it kinda touching a Colombian, the Colombian artists them really mm-hmm. take it you now like the J Balvins mm-hmm. of the world. And then you have something there from Puerto Bad Rico. Bunny. Bad Bunny is really take it. And that's basically when they start touching more in the merengue and all them thing there which you is more you mentioned like they 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 revive dead genres in a way so yeah. even like they will put in a little bit of mental a little calypso mm-hmm. a little then, bit of the merengue yeah, a little bit of salsa, it. like all these mm-hmm. things and even all of that is what you get when you have mixing of culture but i was saying to though you know no matter why, you know, even though and give them credit, give give 
reggaeton it's fucking crazy you have to because reggaeton keep the very core of dembo dembo that 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 didn't it's yeah. almost damn near present yeah every song, every song. yes that's why, so much, that's why so much art is also much fun <laughs> listening to the last song. <laughs> them every trace song. It, mm-hmm. Them trace it from no idea mm-hmm. songs to even songs from back then. Every yes. song. You can find every song. A piece. Whether you speed it up or slow it down, song. it's there. It's Fish there. Mark, it really is. In a And there. It's no. This is where you. It, from Fidel's side, no, them could have said, yo, this sound like it may be something close to Ed Sheeran and the Ed Sheeran type thing. That's when you go into the minutia of music mm-hmm. and chords and all them things there, right? Which is what they're saying. It's saying that you, they can't own they can't they can't own a chord, yeah. especially a common chord, but that is bullshit. And in this but in with in, in this case, opinion. this is you can't own a genre. genre. That and I think essentially that's what they're fighting. Mm-hmm. Like you, how can they own a genre? But you take then you, you literally take the man song and make you know thousands of songs, <laughs> hundreds and thousands of songs, oh, and this. profit and is making shit ton of money on an international je- bad bunny a date one fucking Jenna. If you wanna know if you're rich, if you if you fuck a Jenna. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> and if cross is so rich. <laughs> <laughs> but a Kardashian Jenna and that is where they're at right now. And to me it's just like I don't know, like I was thinking about it today. I mean I said truly I know people want cuss like them cause everybody get blamed or whatever. But me I think said Jamaica, we need to do a better job. Benzie Hype said it last week. Jay will say it when we talk to him. Most people say it all the time that the government would need to do a better job in helping protect us. Mm. We don't have oil. We not have we not sell oil, um, banana rice. We not have none of them things that export. What our main export is us. Is us or creativity or culture. Mm-hmm. And I think this is truly where I honestly believe the government needs to step in and actually do right now. And in and on the flip side too, the players within mm-hmm. this music thing, this dance and music thing, need for be better. Only need for act more professional, get in the business right. And so this naga ham, this should never happen. So this happened from 1980 something, right? Where mm-hmm. whatever. But it shouldn't even be a thing because we see in a regular long time where um people them take them money and them not get credit for it. It shouldn't happen. No, it shouldn't have happened in the nineteen eighty something. Mm-hmm. And if it, it should not be happening now. And I and I think now most people are getting their business side right and whatever. Yeah. But I really believe that the government need to intervene and advocate on behalf of, of Stephen and Keely right now because it to a layman to a the government getting involved in the last one. I truly. Truly, <laughs> and, in, and maybe they cannot because it's a business, the private thing, or whatever. But in terms of getting involved oh, in the last, they? they're underpaid, it, <laughs> whatever. But to, to get involved in terms of creating, like, fully go on in helping us create a proper industry, mm-hmm. a proper industry. This is that is the point. It's like one man, one man, one man, one man, and this is where players in it, as I was about to say, need to come together and do their part. Come together, have an industry, have, like, play, have an association, a yeah. full on association on a common time, on a like, ex. Exhibit professionalism, have smarts, know the business in and out. So them them things I can't reach out. Like I am to a layman, to a layman. If you don't know nothing about music, but you know how music sound, and you can't tell me say fish market <laughs> is not in most of these songs. Yeah, cause what what happened? You know, you can just see it said this is what happened because a international waters because them did I speak Spanish. It's like we're saying, all right, cool. And that happened over time till it just grown out this big They thought thing. it would have been a one Yeah, song. it's like, I said, oh, okay, yeah. them have them because Spanish mm-hmm. version. Of, right, cool. You know, just for sure. So, yeah, we're well, influenced. Saladitary. Yeah. Until Saladitary. now, <laughs> we'll get them turn out this You say, well, Yeah, wait, how much views this up? 
How much money you <laughs> know I'm <laughs> Nah, man. Why? We have to be like the meme where I have the bag of strings them <laughs> in the room. And I say, no, this tie to yeah, this man. and stem from mm. this and that come from Big this. Big artist, you Justin know? Bieber, no. Despacito. Drake. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drake is the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Judge, judge, all that jerks say you better respond to them because they listen there, so. Richard, them in love bar, so I know for them in love. How old heap of people listed in this lawsuit? Javi, oh that's a man said this is big. Gosh. This is bigger than that than what it's been basically reported. The, a the, whole genre is being sued. Yeah. And that's what, with, the, with the, the judge she ordered the, the edit, the Ed Sheeran and the Marvin Gaye something um, suit to go to trial because like the judge thought that well let it go to trial mm-hmm. Ed Sheeran didn't want it to go to trial because he was afraid that again the layman wouldn't necessarily understand and accept that while Ed Sheeran I don't know if there's similarity there but there's a I think there's a difference between that lawsuit and this one is because it's literally like dun, 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 like that like that little strong part yeah. that it's not commonplace and uh, when you play it too you can hear it in other other songs and other you know mm-hmm. they're about but i think this though this is lit is a little different and maybe i'm biased because the jamaican in me and the mm-hmm. love of dance all in me but you hear it distinctly the sampling like they sample it so if you sample a song in hip-hop you know the, the original the originator of it gets its credit so you see the coiler you want to get you another thing and then the buster and make it and then the sugar he'll get yeah everybody gets paid for it mm-hmm. everybody gets paid and i think this is where they're gonna find out if we really run the reggaeton <laughs> this is this is more than just them getting them credit it, it's going to be about who owns the genre. And even though they must say, you can't say who owns the genre, but then fucking take the song. <laughs> I ring sitting on Elements the of the song there. which they argue, because this is part of their argue, argument. Um, the rhythm of reggaeton based upon simple, wrote, unprotectable, common music elements, which are nothing more than common drum beats of single notes. Um, that's part of... Listen to Pom Pom. <laughs> Listen to Pom Pom. That is what... <laughs> All right, dance hall. Don't in it. Uh, They're let's seeking a motion to dis- dismiss. They it. argue that impermissible, um, impermissibly seeks to, um, steal it, steal it and cleave his lawsuit. Impermissibly seeks to mon- monopolize practically the entire record and musical genre for themselves by claiming copyright o- copyright ownership of certain legally irrelevant and or unprotectable purported musical composition composition elements. Um, you could see. It's what? a lot because uh, uh, it's it's uh, gonna be tough for them. It's going it's to be, be tough. tough. Um, they're fighting an entire industry, a billion dollar industry. I know um, with lawyers, with, white with lawyers who can fight t- t- high powered lawyers, to- tooth to- and nail, whose sole job is this. Mm. Like it's a uphill battle, but to me, honestly, them forget them credit because it's everybody. Must, everybody must. who do them research acknowledges. Them bow rhythm too as the the songs. basis and the origin of reggaeton. So if him if them if it is the basis and the the, the foundation of your genre, then what are we doing? Cause here's some of the key questions. What am I forgot to ask? Is it that has to be asking this? Was did another party that you give permission give that to an ex party? Right, and if so, the party that you give permission to give it to an next party, can you then say, "Say yo, that was taken from your original song"? Huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> original rhythm, is it like a, these are the, like? The, can you say because remember, say it was taken from something else. They gave permission, but it's like something got lost. In translation to who them give permission to originally, and then from that birth, one of the original rhythms of reggaeton that came from Fidem song. So, did they give them permission? And if you did give permission to the person, who you give original okay, permission okay. to. Okay, okay, okay. Does sh- that qualify things? I give. I lend you my phone. That's yeah. what you're saying. I lend you my phone, mm. and I give you use to use my phone. Yeah. But Javi 
the SIM or the the the, the screen from my phone. Mm-hmm. Me give my phone for you. Yeah. But Javi want the screen from my phone. And you say, ah, me I give the screen. You don't own it, so you can't give permission to Javi to take my screen. Essentially, that's what you're saying, right? Like I, I it kind of different with copyright still. No, but they sent a sense on what you just yes, the question that you asked. Yes. But Donna, yes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just da, saying that. just to make that clear. It's but, different no, but the song, the rhythm. Yeah, this is the rhythm. Mm. Give you, I made my rhythm. I give you my rhythm. You and say then, you want part of my, you want <laughs> your <laughs> rhythm. <laughs> and it, it's the same rhythm, but you say you just probably add in mm. one little something. Add a little calypso. The core of mm. it is the same. I then give you you add a calypso. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but you still my friend. Is it though? It is. As I said, it's, it's sort of different when it comes out the copyright. Because you is, add you add things to it, so now that make it different and make it into your own and not necessarily still yours. It is. It is my phone. It not anymore. Still, <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. But it's still my phone. It got tweaked. It's still my because I can come and say when my phone there. You're gonna say, oh, you never, you never, you give me my phone. And I lent you my phone. I said you can borrow my phone. You can't give it. You're not the Steely permission. And clearly, first registered its US copyright for the fish market reading in, in June 2020. Bumble. As I saw on record, that's even that statue of limitation that's involved there oh, as well. Shit. Like it's going to be a hard battle shit. for them. My it's good. Them just register it in the US. Bro. They just copyright it. Bro. Say, right? Ja, ja. So, Bro. Like all these things, it's going to be a uphill this is why, task. This is why the government needs to get involved. Truly. Like truly, I think the government needs to get involved. There needs to be some sort of... When was it copyrighted is one of the, the key questions. I, I, maybe, maybe it won't be for this, yeah, but elements. going forward, we have to come together in this because creativity is our main export. Yeah. We or we the people we are our main export and we, it is so hard and I guess it's difficult to copyright creativity how you copyright creativity I guess that is the fundamental question but we have to find a way where people cannot benefit and benefit greatly mm-hmm. from our thoughts and and feelings and vibes because truly that's what it is we turn dreams to reality Dropping the incense and my light message Light up my spliff and then my start for pray Manifest Took somebody for clone out there Try everything come like in our earth If I'm in the sky why when it's dead I got hurt If money's a evil white I call it not church Make my welcome to the planet all earth Make my welcome to the planet all earth Wake up to break up, have sex in the night as morning light I'ma wake up Round two, round three, just make up your mind Can you tell me for cut me for stay too? Me no know, 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 boy Sally's, I will fear nobody Road, it may be rocky Come up like a plight on me With me roots and me banner, roots and me banner 